the only mixed round of the series would see 10 crews from across the world battle it out at Rally de España to decide who would be crowned champion. After four fascinating rounds of rally action, the stages around the hills of Tarragona would host both gravel and tarmac special stages to finish the championship off in style. As the action got underway today, torrential rain turned the gravel roads into mud baths and Norway's Oscar Solberg was first to hit trouble, sliding off the road on the opening test of the day. Championship leaders Ossian Price and Dale Furness had been holding a slender 0.9 second lead after winning the opening stage. An electrical problem saw them drop down the leaderboard and retire by the end of the day. One of them things, a um, bit disappointing after all everybody's effort to get me here and to happen like this, it's uh, yeah, very cruel on everyone. Finnish star Max Vatanen used his experience of the event to master the treacherous conditions. He set a number of solid times to finish the day in third place after a trouble free run. Yeah, really tough conditions with the rain and the mud, so it was more about surviving today. Not so enjoyable driving wise, but the main aim was just to, to bring the car safe today, so uh, we'll carry on tomorrow. British driver Gus Greensmith hit problems just a few miles into the opening stage. Hitting a rock and bending a steering arm, but he soldiered on to finish the day, showing a strong pace despite the problems. No, we um, from then on it was just just had to survive and get through the day. But somehow I think we did a great job, me and Catherine, and we managed to put some pretty decent times together despite the problems we had with the car. So, in terms of um, the day, I'm happy. It's we're still second, so it's not all bad. But yeah, it was um, that one mistake just cost us a bit too much. So it's a bit bit gutting. But um, apart from that, I'm happy with how I've dealt with the problem. But it was John Armstrong and Noel O'Sullivan on top of the pack. Using their knowledge of the stages from last year, the pair were fastest on four stages to hold a one minute, 10 second overnight advantage. It uh, paid off and um, I would have been happy enough coming in the, the tarmac stages behind, but we've, we're quite good lead now, so um, it means you don't have to maybe push as hard in the tarmac, so uh, we'll see, we'll just have to judge it tomorrow and, and uh, take it from there. After a tough day on slippery gravel, the M Sport team had a busy evening service as they switched the cars to tarmac specification, meaning a change of suspension, adding bigger brakes and moving to D-Max asphalt tyres. Tomorrow they tackle eight asphalt tests on the fast flowing circuit-like roads around Salou.